a video diary. Anyway, I've been looking for a van or an RV. I decided on a van because I don't really want to drive. I think I don't really want to drive a huge RV around, but I don't really want to build, well, I, w I would love to build something myself, but I don't really have the skills to do that. And so I was kind of looking for one of those class B van, camper vans that are already built out. But every time I look at one, I just feel like it's so, I mean, it has everything I need, right? A toilet, a shower, a bed, but I just, it doesn't make me feel excited I don't know, I guess I was hoping for something more unique or, yeah, more unique. And so that's why I think it would be nice to build something on my own, but it would take a while. And my daughter's going to college next month. And I was hoping to have it so that I could drive with her down there and stay for a while without paying for a hotel or a monthly rental, which is insanely expensive. I think the cheapest one I found was $1,200 a month, which isn't that bad, I suppose. It's just for a room, though. It's not a whole place. It's just a room, and I'm sure I could use the kitchen. So I was hoping to have an RV or a van by then, but I don't know if that's going to happen. And I don't know if that's a good idea. I just don't know what I want. I guess I need to decide what I actually want. But I know that I don't want to pay $1,500 for rent. Um, I'm renting for my dad right now and it's not that expensive. And he said I can stay. I think he really wants to sell it, but he doesn't want to kick me out. So I was kind of just taking it upon myself to find something else. But everything around here has gone, the rent here has gone crazy. And I just don't make enough money to pay $1,500 in rent and then have everything, all my other bills and everything else. So a van would be a good option for me or an RV but I would also need a place to park it, which is kind of why I gave up on the idea of an RV because I'd have to park it somewhere, which means I would probably have to pay because you can't just park it in a parking lot and live there. People are gonna know. So a van is a better idea, even though those class B camper vans, I mean, you can tell that they're campers, but it's a little less conspicuous in my opinion. So that was my thought. And then I really wanted a shower. Like I don't understand how these people who have these camper conversions don't have a shower. I maybe cause they don't have like a regular office job. I have a regular office job and I have to be there and be presentable and I can't have, you know, gross, dirty, greasy hair. <laughs> now I'm looking at my hair and so I kind of need the shower but I think I could live with going to a gym or whatever if I had to but I would rather not but I kind of talked to somebody about their van last weekend and they said they don't really use the shower very often because um it creates a whole bunch of condensation in a really small space and it's kind of hard to get rid of and I can't imagine doing that every day and having that condensation like you would have to have maybe the solution is a really good fan that would just suck all the condensation out I don't really know but it seems like the fans are right above where the shower is so it would just suck all that out but I don't know maybe the fan's not very good I just was hashing through some things. I don't really know what I want. I don't really know what I want to do. I hate the winter. I hate the snow. And that is a like one of my big motivations. But I also have a 
good job with good benefits. Well, okay benefit. The health insurance isn't great, but they give a lot of vacation time and they're very flexible with schedule. And I like the people there, but I don't know. Is that a reason to keep me in one place? I don't really know the answer to that. And I wish somebody could give me the answer, but I think that's just my decision, right? I keep wishing that somebody could just tell me what I should do, but I know that nobody can. There's not really anybody that can tell you the decision you're supposed to make. Maybe there is no supposed to. It's just, what do you want? But I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. I mean, I would love to travel. I would love to travel, but that costs money too. It's not free. It's not free to live in a van and travel. And I've always driven really small cars and everybody says you'll get used to the big, the big van or whatever, but will I? Will I like it? I don't know if I'll like some, something that big. And I've thought about just, you know, living in a smaller vehicle, like a small SUV or something, but that's a, a big change from living in a house because that's super tiny. Like I have, especially I have clothes for work, nice clothes that I have to have. So I have a decent amount of clothing that I can't really get rid of because I need to have nice clothes for work and then comfortable clothes for home or casual clothes, I guess is what you would say. And then clothes to work out in. I mean, the casual clothes could be the clothes that you work out in if, if I was like wanting to cut back on the clothing. So I guess that's something. I guess I just have a lot of decisions to make. The other thing is you, you put your money into a RV or a van and that is not a, an investment. Like you, you, you're losing money on that. The second you pay for it, it's losing money. So, and I've never really had a lot of savings and I have a good, I mean, I don't have a lot, but more than I've ever had and that, and so then putting all that towards a vehicle that I know is never gonna appreciate it's always gonna depreciate is scary and I understand like I understand that spending money on an experience or something that you deem worth it is also a consideration so it's not just about, am I going to make money on it <clears throat> or am I not going to lose money on it, but also about, is it worth it to me to spend the money on it? Because it's going to be, it would be a great experience and something that I've always wanted to do. There's a lot of places to drive and a lot of things to see. And I absolutely love the Southwest and that would be somewhere that I'd really think I'd spend a lot of time. Yeah, I just don't know. I have to make the choice. And sometimes making a choice is the hardest thing in the world. And it's not just me I have to think about. I have to think about my daughter. She's going to be in college. She's still going to need financial support and emotional support, of course, which I will always be there for. But I need to be responsible and be able to provide financial support for her and not just pick up and quit my job and buy something and leave. So, I don't know. But I would also love to have some property somewhere. But I could save money if I live in a van. I could save money for property someday if I lived in a van. I'm looking at this beautiful view. Here's the view. Downtown is beautiful. But time to go into work. Hopefully this different style of video isn't weird. I mean, I don't know. We'll see if I even put it up. I might not. It's kind of nice to just talk about it though. 
just like a diary because I'm not I've never been good at keeping a diary like a written diary I'm not really a writer I'm just not very good at it <laughs> and it just is it comes hard to me to sit down and write I feel like then I'm like I don't know what to say what am I what was I gonna say again because I'm sitting there looking at this blank paper I don't know what to say so anyway I think that maybe a video diary is nicer or better for me whether I share it or not it doesn't matter it's good for me to be able to talk about it and get it out all right well off to work so I was thinking the whole thing about this van life which I hate calling it that because it sounds so stupid I don't know like anyway van life so I was thinking though, the whole thing about this van life thing is that everybody's doing it. And just for that reason, for that reason, the reason that everybody's doing it makes me not want to do it because that's just how I am. I feel like I've always been like that. I just don't want to do something that's this cool fad that everybody's doing just because they're doing it. And I don't want to be like that. That's silly of me to not want to do it for that reason. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow I won't even want to do this. See, that's the thing with me is I think I want to do something and then I decide that I want to do something else and I'm just all over the place. But I don't think that's a bad thing. I think I just want to try a bunch of things and so I should. I don't really necessarily have to settle for one thing. I can try everything, right?